Okay, so mamas and kids, we're gonna do some hair today. First of all, we use our wet brush and our mixture of a little bit, just about between a nickel and a dime size of our Lux conditioner mixed in water in order to spray all over her hair and to brush through. It is the best detangler. The conditioner just does an amazing, amazing job of making it, of detangling and making it so soft and smooth. And it is really getting long, girl. Might be, might be time for a haircut. Okay, so. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So, one of the, one of the styles that I wanted to show you that we do on her hair a lot. She really has a very, very deep part, meaning she always parts her hair on the side. Wherever your child parts her hair is fine, whether it's the middle or the side, but go ahead and find the part, and it's gonna look, the style will just look really cute either way. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take your fingers just right below their temples, and then I'm gonna scoot you around so that they can see. And take, take your fingers right below their temples, and then just drag it back to here, okay? And this, you want this to actually be above the ear, okay? Um, not getting all of the hair above the ear because it just allows it to look kind of soft and pretty. You can even take a comb. This is called a rat tail comb that has the end in order to separate and then I'm gonna take a little clear elastic rubber band and gently secure it in the back. Um, this you wanna keep kind of low. <clears throat> okay, now for this part, and again, it helps if their hair is just a little bit wet. Um, mixing up that detangler is wonderful for this. Now, some of you may get into this position where you feel a little bit frustrated about it not being smooth. Here's a trick. You can take the end of a rat tail comb and actually put it right underneath the part that you want to smooth. And just drag it down. And it helps things to kind of fall into place. The good news is that you don't need this to be exactly perfect, but this is a neat trick in order to just get rid of any little ponytail bumps. Okay? And that's it. Your child can wear their hair like this, or you can take it a couple of different directions. The reason I like this too is because it just looks soft and pretty. It's gonna be out of her face. Another place you can go with this is doing a cute little knot. So, um, I'm actually gonna take two pieces from behind. Okay. And then I'm gonna grab a little bit of our set. spray it smells really good I'm gonna spray this back here to give me just a little bit of control when I'm doing this and then I'm gonna take two pieces from behind here and I am going to tie them in a gentle loose little knot and then pull it together and then pull the pieces back behind another little clear elastic rubber band and I am going to fasten it right underneath and then we have this cute little knot it's just kind of fun and different it's true we can actually take this styling spray on her hair and spray it all over and then scrunch and it will give just enough grit in order to make it wavy. But it's nothing too heavy that, you know, a kid couldn't have in their hair. This kind of just gives a little bit more control and wave. That's your hair looks so pretty. You like the style of spray, don't you? What do you think it smells like? You see how it gives her that curl? True, because 
because you're so familiar with these. <laughs> it also smells like pineapple, right? Bergamot, white tea, lots Avocado? of yummy goodness. Avocado is in this. Yeah. No. I know you hear me say it. All right. Hope this was fun and informational. We'll see you guys later. Have fun with your kiddos playing with their hair.